One thing about chintan is you could use the whole chicken. You could buy it separately, you could buy the bone separately, but honestly for me, when I'm making it at home, I buy the whole chicken. Because you could get the drumsticks, you could get the breast, you could get the chicken wings, you could get the skin, everything for a super cheap price. Yes, you're gonna have to cut it up, but that's the fun part of making ramen. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna debone this baby. And what I wanna do is use the bones to make chintan soup stock. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start cutting these out separately. I'm gonna attack the drumsticks first. So I cut the size right here, and then I'm going to spread. And then you see a crack right here. The socket just came out. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Boom, the socket came out. Real easy. So you got the leg and the thigh right here. So I'm just gonna cut this, uh, pull this off. See that, you got the leg and the thigh right there. And I'm gonna cut along this fat area. You see this fat? It's different from the skin, it's fat. So I'm gonna cut along this. I'm gonna have a nice piece of thigh and the leg. And then we're gonna do this part now. Cut the skin. I'm gonna use a skin later for my aroma oil. So you got the thighs and the legs, but I only need the bones. So I'm gonna cut off all the meat. So I'm gonna cut the legs off because there's ligaments connected. See this, this white thing, it's the ligaments. I need that disconnected. I'm gonna cut it off so the bones would just come off quickly. And then if it's, you just feel if it's off, you could pop it and it should come right off. Like that. So I have this bone, and there's a small piece of bone right here. It's not pretty, man. <laughs> so we just took out the bones from the thigh and the leg. This is one of the best part of the chicken. So we don't want to waste it. So we're gonna later on make Japanese style karage fried chicken. So we got the chicken wings. I'm gonna cut along this side right here and just take it off. It should come off. So let it hang and it, sh it should come off easily like this. So this is the other one. So I'm gonna pull this a little bit. Nice looking shape of the chicken breast. So I'm just gonna cut this off. Then boom. And now I have this skin. So I'm gonna pull this chicken skin off. All this, it's not going to waste. Uh, it's great for making aroma oil. So we're gonna show you how to do that on another episode. So we're gonna put this on the side and now we're gonna attack the chicken breasts. Great for chashu. We're gonna sous vide this chashu and it's nice and juicy and it's perfect just for uh, shoyu ramen, shio ramen. I want this whole shape right here, from right here all around this area. So I'm gonna cut along this area. 
and right underneath this is the tenders you want to keep that as well feel the bone the ribs and cut alongside once you get here you can put your finger in here and then pull this off kind of separates on there on its own separate it right here and I'm gonna do that the same thing on the other side so I'm gonna cut along the fat the fat is always a guide for you where to cut so now I can probably put my finger in here and just cut this pull it off and it's separating on its own see that just pull it off and it'll come off This is the chicken tenders right here. Kids love this. Let me just pull it off for you. Comes off. Chicken tenders. I want the bones in the back. This is both loose. I'm gonna take the chicken tenders again. I'm just gonna stick my finger in there and it'll just come off. See that? So we got the two breasts. I'm just gonna pull this baby off. Bam. Now this is what I want for the chicken stock. Now inside here you got some guts and you don't want any meat inside here. So you're gonna pull everything out. It's all over here. Pull this out on both sides. There. Now we're gonna rinse this. Now we got it all out. It was all in here, nice and clean. It's really important that you don't give this baby a bath. You want as less amount of water to cleanse this thing because the flavor is in this and you're gonna wash the flavor off. Here we go. See, it's coming off, it's coming off. Some of that particle is coming off. It's coming off, it's coming off. Some of that particle is coming off. So very lightly. The bone and the skin has a lot of flavor in it. We got the legs, thighs, wings, and the back. <laughs> 